Hi friends, I'm once again coming to you with an interesting series of thoughts. I've talked about another one of our sense organs, our eyes, in the video Eyes and Cameras. In this video, I will talk about our ears. Like always, I will look at things from a scientific perspective. Before talking about the ear, I will try to briefly explain the role and importance of our sense organs in general. Friends, our sense organs that allow the communication of our inner world with the outer world are really important and special. We use our sense organs to understand and interpret the universe. Their role in furthering our lives and protecting ourselves is also very valuable. To understand their value better, I will talk about the relationship between the brain, soul and body. To better understand the role of our sense organs, let's draw comparisons between us and robots. Robots are machines we build by copying or getting inspired by ourselves and other living beings. Humanoid robots, in particular, will help us understand our sense organs. Instead of brains, we have put common centers into robots. These common centers are computers that need software to run. Without the software, they can't do anything that we ask them to do. A robot without any software is like a dead person. The software that gives life to humans and controls them is the soul. A person without a soul is like a robot without software, an inanimate corpse. Friends, we looked at the relation between the soul, the brain, and the body. Through the example of humanoid robots, the soul gives commands to and controls the body using our brain. To do this, the brain needs sensors that will gather data from our surroundings. We call these devices sense organs senses like sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch are given to us for this reason. Our sense organs are given to us by the Creator to understand life, think and control our bodies. The soul gives the command, in return the brains collect data through sense organs and transmit them back to the brain. Using these data, our brain thinks and makes choices, while in our body, our soul can only communicate with the outer world through our five sense organs. In other words, the soul sees, hears, smells, tests, touches, understands and interprets through the brain and sense organs. Now, let's look at our ears, one of our sense organs that allow us to further our lives and its unique aspects. Of course, without going into boring and widely known details. Our ears that allow us to hear the sounds around us are designed only to hear certain frequencies. In other words, our ears have sensory receptors that perceive limited vibrations. These receptors are located in our inner ear. Sound waves go through our outer ear to our middle ear and then to the inner ear to reach the receptors in a snail-shaped organ called the cochlea. Then they are turned into electrical signals and are sent to the brain. These signals are interpreted as sound, given meaning and then perceived by our soul. Sounds are formed by vibrations in the ear. Each sound has a frequency, speed and wavelength. Frequency vibrations per sound are measured in hertz. We humans can only hear sounds in certain ranges of frequencies. But there are frequencies of sounds that are much higher or lower than that. At this point, I can say this with confidence, the fact that we can't hear all the sounds in the universe is a great advantage given to us by the Creator. Creator has created an ideal range of hearing by limiting the frequencies we can hear. The human ear is sensitive to frequencies between 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. However, we can effectively hear frequencies between 250 to 3000 Hz. Bugs, dogs, cats, birds, 
horses and wolves can hear frequencies we can't hear. For example, pigeons can hear frequencies as low as 0.1 Hz. Dogs can hear between 67 to 45,000 Hz, while cats can hear sounds between 48 to 85,000 Hz. The reason many animals can sense earthquakes and go crazy is this. There are many sounds the Creator has created in the universe, but we don't hear in our daily lives. We can only measure these special frequencies with the devices we invent. Doctors, for instance, using stethoscopes can hear the sounds of our organs, like our lungs and hearts, and make a diagnosis. We also use frequencies we can't hear for seismic exploration, searching for oil and other fields. Underwater, communication is also possible using sound vibrations. As you know, bats are blind. However, the sounds they emit bounce off of things and return to them, allowing them to fly without crushing the things and find their prey. Scientists discovered this technique that the bats use and invented the sonar. Researchers can map the sea bat and find sunken ships. They are also used to locate schools of fish and measure their size. Our emotions and wants are communicated through sounds. You can understand the importance of being able to talk and hear when you see people who can't. Not being able to hear also means not being able to talk. People who can't hear can only talk after undergoing special training. Hearing is a very important aspect of thinking and communicating your thoughts. Within the range of frequencies that are given to us, we can hear water flowing, birds tweeting, we can sing a song we like, watch great movies, make phone calls, hear a kitten meowing, listen to the rain, and be happy and thankful. By hearing the sounds around us, we can talk and widen our horizons and better understand the universe and creation. Let's see, hear, and think beautifully. Dear friends, please subscribe to our channel, share with your loved ones, and